Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday after the Wednesday. Dubbish fed. Um, dollar lower, dollar yen lower, gold higher. We got what we wanted there. Harvested that. Uh, now we're square again going into today. Probably still should be long gold. We talked about um, gold making all-time highs this week on Monday. But we wore a little bit of pain uh, on that gold. You know, it traded down to, I don't know, 1933 or something. Um, we bought between 40 and 50. So it was just kind of a little bit of annoying. And um, happy to just harvest that and move on. Dollar yen, same thing. It went up to, what, what did it go up to? 130, 132.99. Uh, here we are at the lows. Anyway, uh, bygones. I think you can still try and pick up some gold. Um, I'm going to stay away from dollar yen here at these uh, at these lows. We'll have to see what that looks like. One of the things that I'm worried about or I'm looking at today is the dollar index. Um, I think we've made it pretty clear we're dollar bears and we think the dollar is going to get hammered um multiple reasons but he, we're getting a bit stretched now right this is one two three four six red days in a row um two and a half sigma down here uh usually when the dollar index t touches two and a half sigma um it pauses right you can see it doesn't touch it often this gargantua move down here we lived below two and a half sigma for three days um, and then really stretched it here to 105 but in general um, you gotta be a little bit more cautious when we're here so we're gonna we're gonna be a little bit more cautious we're gonna fade stretches on euro today uh, so what does that mean where's euro 10905 um, so yesterday's high was 12. Today's high was 11.4. Surely at the European Open, um, we're going to take this. Uh, they're going to be buying euros. What do we have today? MPC, SNB. Uh, no euro data. Um, just basically dovish fed the systems are going to come on and sell dollars today and so this will be a fade for us anywhere anywhere i would say 109.25 to 109.50 we're going to sell some euros uh, just as a day trade uh, mean reversion type deal dollar china got smashed holy shit not really i mean just in tune with everybody else we're not too good at trading dollar uh, cnh um Hold on. Um, not much to do here. I could probably sell this. Uh, no, that's too far. Not really much to do there. Let's look at Sterling. This guy's been bumpy. Um, Euro Sterling yesterday. What a turnaround that was. That was a little bit annoying. Super hot inflation. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the MPC does today. So you want to stay away from Sterling pre-MPC and just see what they do. Um, let's have a look here. What are they supposed to do? They're supposed to raise a quarter to four and a quarter. <sighs> dovish, dovish hike, just like the Fed. Careful, be careful of Sterling here. Um, this also uh, gets stretched. 123.42. Um, maybe fade this up at uh, 120.24 on a uh, on a dovish hike. I don't know. We're gonna stay away from sterling. Uh, we were short euro sterling after the inflation numbers at 90. Fooled around between 75 and 95 a few times, um, but then ended up getting stopped out at 11. Kind of scratched the whole Euro Sterling day. Um, 
don't understand why this is up here. I guess <clears throat> the market is looking for a dovish uh, MPC, maybe a dovish hike or maybe no hike at all. I don't know. Um, with inflation that high, they are they're screwed. Uh, so just be aware. Uh, sterling today. What time is that? 1 p.m. Swiss time. So just after lunch. What else are we looking at? Dollar czar. This doesn't make a ton of sense to me. I mean, I know it's dollars lower, but stocks got cannibalized. This looks like a buy. Um, no horse. No horse in this race. Although that's, that's going to attract some attention. 1804. Not really sure what's going on in dollars are here. Two big red days. Um, maybe there's some good news um, down in Cape Town. Who knows? Oh yeah, let's look at crude. Crude's dancing up on the 70 handle. I think we talked about this on Twitter or maybe yesterday. Uh, you want to get short crude. Somewhere between 70 and 72 should do some sideways action here and then probably head lower, um, especially if equities continue to get hammered. That's a bearish engulfing yesterday. What was the low there? 39.65. That was a very fearful hour this last hour. Bang. 40.33. Down to 39.67. Kind of a 2% hour there. Close to a 2% hour. Um, surely this is a fade. Up uh, up between 40 and 40.20. Um, but again, we're not... Uh, we, we, we'll probably sell some stocks up there. That's true. But our focus is basically on euro. So... Uh, we're going to fade euro. We're going to fade stretch in euro. I want to show you the euro CAD chart as well. Um, this is also stretched. I have no fucking idea what's going on in dollar CAD. It's annoying the Christ out of me. Um, so euro CAD also in the stretch zone. Um, we'll sell some of this up uh, 149, sort of between 30 and 50 as well. So 30 and 50 in Euro, 30 and 50 in Euro CAD. Let's pull up the dollar CAD just to just to see if this thing can get through 136.50. 136.50 is important. Um, this looks like a break trade. Uh, I don't know why dollar CAD is, is so bid. Um, but we hit 45, what was it, two days ago, uh, and then we zipped up to 137.40. Last night we zipped down to 57, we were here at 70. Back in another life when all I did was break trade, um, I would be salivating over this level here. Um, I would have 50 entry and a 45 entry in some good fun size. Dollar CAD's very flimsy as well. I'll have to have a look at this later. Um, any CAD data today? No. Keep a look at this. Uh, have a look at this dollar CAD here. Um, 136.50 is important. Let's just let's just leave it at that. Finally. Um, Euro Swiss is bid heading into the SMB. Um, 9.30 a.m. be very interesting what they say post-merger. Uh, Obviously, Swiss franc has taken it on the chin this week. We have not harvested any gains on that, um, even though we were long at 98.70. Uh, normally, the SMB is... Recently, they've been above 1%. Between 1 and 102 actually buying their currency and this is to protect the country from inflation I don't I, I openly wonder um, if they're going to uh, if they're going to be there if we if we pop up so 
I wouldn't I wouldn't lean into what has typically been sort of the 95 101 range. Euro Swiss in my mind could go a lot a lot higher. Um, and the fact that I'm not long and saying that uh, probably a good indication that it could go a lot higher. Anyway, uh, keep an eye keep an eye SND. Um, I guess people are looking for them to raise 50 basis points to 150. Imagine if they don't do anything. Anyway, good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.